In a hybrid project, the agile track expects a change to be implemented by predictive track. Okay, so I can assume there is an agile track and there is a predictive track. It's a hybrid project. Both are included in the one project. Whereas the predictive track is waiting for the change control board approval. Okay, the delay in change approval is frustrating the agile track. How can a project manager reduce such situations? Interesting situations. Yeah, and, and whenever you have these kind of hybrid situations, uh, usually such kind of integration is the, the most challenging uh, thing which project manager has to deal with. Let's look at the option. Option A, assign a single person to resolve such issues. So say any change uh, issues related things, we have a, a manager, you can say X axis manager who takes care of issue manager. We have an issue manager to deal with. Okay, option B, establish a clear mechanism to track the issues. So we may have a board and we put those issues on the board and everybody can see them if they are getting delayed. And then we have a clear awareness of, of, of tracking of these issues. So we have a close tracking. Improve communication between agile and productive track. So there should be a better communication so that maybe the changes can be planned better, uh, that can be resolved better, and that can help us in, in reducing such kind of situation where you are waiting for each other, be it change or, or something else, yeah, delays are coming. Recommend adaptive ways of working for a complete project. You know? So why the predictive life cycle is predictive? Why can't I make it uh, agile? So I believe there could be many other options also. And in the, in, the, in the PMP exam, when you have such situation, you may have your own ideas how to resolve it. But the good thing is that we have to select one out of available four options. So what I need to pick up is something which is most suitable and safe to assume that if I do it, it covers remaining three or it's better than three. That's the, the whole idea which I am focusing on. So assigning a single person to resolve such issues might work. Yeah, it, it, it might be okay thing to do. You may have uh, some mechanism to handling these issues. But in general, uh, uh, that single person may also become a bottleneck. So I need to see if, if putting this single person is helpful or it can create further issues because if the single person is not handling it well, we may have a bigger mess. So in general, I need to know the detail about the situation before I can say the single person will be good or not good. That's, that's something uh, uh, I need to see. I can't just see based on the, the question which, which I have in front of me. Establish a clear mechanism to track issues. It's a good idea. Tracking of the issues, communicating those issues, discussing them in various meetings, milestone reviews, making them visible. is, is definitely uh, this, this tracking will improve the resolution. That's, that's clear cut uh, uh, there. Now, improving communication between agile and predictive track, uh, that also a good option. Yeah. Now we need to choose out of B and C and, and, and there could be a difference of opinion here and it's a little controversial question in a way. But now the issue here is that should we have a good tracking that will help us in resolving things better or we, we need to focus on reducing a situation. Yeah. Now the, the word which is coming towards here helps us in, in identifying which out of B or C I should pick up. So B can help me in resolving this situation, whereas a C will be more helpful in reducing this, such situations. Yeah, so reducing such situations where we have a delays, we have a, a, a late information, and, and uh, which is creating wait time can be improved if we have maybe early identification of the issues, early processing of these issues, so I go with option C primarily because it is talking about reducing such a situation. Yeah, and, and I believe it's a, it's a very close uh, touch between B and C. Now, somebody will say, why not D? Uh, we don't have a clear understanding to decide that let's go in agile. We need to assume that the project is in a hybrid way and there must be some reasons to keep the predictive track as predictive track and agile track as agile track without having clear understanding. Yes, we understand there is a delay in the approval of, of the predictive track, but it might be needed for that, that such kind of an organization because of compliance or some other reasons. So directly jumping to change the life cycle seems to be a not right thing to do when you are facing such kind of, of question. So for me, this is the answer and do share if you have 
difference of opinion about this particular question in uh, with, with us.